Usain Bolt jogged through the line beating his clenched fists against his chest as he defeated twice drugs cheat Justin Gatlin for the second time in a week, before being taken out by a cameraman who lost control of his Segway. After beating American Gatlin in the 100M on Sunday, the Jamaican breezed to 200M victory in 19.55 SEC, the fastest time in the world this year and his quickest since winning gold at London 2012. But there was drama on the lap of honor afterwards with two security scares. He seemingly avoided serious injury after being run over by a cameraman riding a Segway. The cameraman took him out from behind and Bolt's legs, surely the most prized in world sport, were taken from underneath him. Bolt fell to the floor but was quickly up on his feet again checking himself over for injury. He tried to kill me. Bolt said afterwards, I don't know what he was going on. It was like, you are winning too much take him out. Then an overzealous fan was chased down the track and wrestled to the ground by security guards after leaping a barrier to try get a picture of the superstar athlete. If his victory in the 100M was billed as a win for the sport his 200M win was confirmation that he is still capable of running times which nobody else can match. He and Gatlin were level with 80M to go but Bolt executed his trademark kick to accelerate clear and comfortably win with Gatlin second in 19.74 SEC Aniso Jobodwana was third in 19.87 SEC, a new South African record. As you know, it means a lot to me said Bolt to the BBC, this is a big deal. I am happy to be a 10-time gold medalist. I just can't explain. Hard work and dedication to the sport. Especially the season where a lot of people have been doubting me, saying that I would lose. Britain's Zarnel Hughes, who recently switched allegiance from the tiny Caribbean island of Anguilla was fifth in 20.02 SEC This is all good experience, he said afterwards. I came out, I gave it my best. I felt something in my back. That is why I wasn't able to give it the way I wanted to. I finish, the season, injury free. I give God thanks for the experience I have had. It was a great experience. Asked if he belonged in this elite company, Hughes who trains alongside Bolt in Jamaica said, definitely. I will get back. Trust me. Usain Bolt is a legend, man. Even myself, I doubted him a bit. But Bolt is phenomenal. He knows what to do when it comes to the major championships. Credit to him. Once Bolt sat down to savor his victory on a trackside chair, American Gatlin came over to congratulate him and the two rivals shook hands and chatted. Their rivalry in Beijing had been cast as good versus evil because Gatlin served a four-year doping suspension midway through his career. By the end of their second showdown, however, they were joking with each other like boyhood buddies. Explaining the cameraman incident to reporters, Bolt said, The rumor I'm trying to start right now is that Justin Gatlin paid him off. Gatlin, sitting beside him, retorted, I want my money back. He didn't complete the job. Seven years ago, Bolt started his amazing run of gold at the Beijing Olympics and has not lost a major 200 race since. The Jamaican, however, had been struggling with injury since winning his third straight 200 title at the 2013 World Championships in Moscow. But the this victory was his fourth consecutive World 200M crown and his tenth World Championships gold medal. He looked much more relaxed on the start line than in the 200M, doing his usual preening as Gatlin stared straight down the camera lens.